hey guys welcome back to shan kitchen vlog and welcome back to another video and today i'm doing boiled food with tin mackerel of course i'm using the drop mackerel reason for the drop mackerel is we get more serving out of it um already having my yams um, yam potato and i'm going to add dumpling white dumpling today tastes better with mackerel of course so first i put my pot to heat next thing i'm going to do is add some canola oil before i start to add my seasoning into the pot so guys meantime that my food is boiling over here I'm just gonna go ahead and bring you through my my ingredients for my mackerel because of course our mackerel is what we're highlighting today my main thing is dried mackerel if you don't have dried mackerel of course you can use any other mackerel same thing I'm just using dried mackerel today just because I said it gave you more serving um, um I have fish and meat sauce here I have vinegar a little miss dash seasoning I have black pepper of course trust me this is a must I have fish maggi fish seasoning so this is these are all my powder season with my vinegar now let's get into our natural spices called season don't mind me guys this is the extra flour that's on my hand still need to some washing off but my hands are very clean of course okay so i have onions i have sweet pepper i have tomatoes scallion sprig of thyme butter garlic and scotch bunny pepper so this is the whole trick okay guys this is the secret so great tasting spicy nutritious mackerel how to cook mackerel delicious tin mackerel okay so stay with me let us take you guys through this step by step i'm sure i'm sure that we do this step all the time so i didn't want to drag out the video by doing that okay so i already show you the part where i add my oil so next thing now is that i'm going to add my seasoning Okay guys, so the pot is very hot and I'm just going to go ahead now and put my seasoning inside of this. I'm just going to just saute this for a few minutes until I know that your onions and everything is starting to turn color. That's when you know that it is cooked. You have to ensure that your season is because you don't want to taste that raw taste when you're eating your mackerel. So, so next, guys, we are using, let's say, half a teaspoon of the mint dash. Just sprinkling some vegetable seasoning in this as well. And my famous Maggi fish seasoning. I'll put the rice um measurement in the description okay and also all right so guys um my phone fell a while ago i did add my black pepper and also my vegetable season i didn't, I didn't i'm not sure if i show you that you can see where my season Saute it properly. Next up is oh my god. Next up, guys, is our drop mackerel. Alright, guys, I'm just gonna add a little bit of water here. Not too much, just for some extra gravy. And now I'm gonna add my fish and meat sauce. Of course, what I'm doing. So guys, I add everything and I did add my black pepper ready for those who are wondering. And guys, like I said, 
my cooking is not Bible and some persons don't like certain type of seasoning so you add the season just how you want but like I said when we are cooking mackerel we have to ha have some little flavors and stuff to it just to change the taste and you know make it nice okay so I do hope you like my video once again thank you so much for watching thank you for tuning to Shine Kitchen Vlogs and I have more bangers to drop okay remember to like share and subscribe thank you so much for the support thank you guys dumplings